how some of the guys want to see different positions run and that sort of thing. Is just throwing, is that what the scouts want to see out of you today? No, I mean, I had, uh, you know, I did a few drills, uh, L drill and pro agility that I felt like I could improve on from the combine, but I felt as if physically running those drills, you know, I was going to be at my best at the combine. Uh, so really, uh, you know, I felt comfortable with most, most of my stuff there. So throwing was a big thing today, obviously, and then those two, you know, agility drills. So, uh, yeah. How can you tell if you threw well or not? Did you throw well? I mean, completions, right? I mean, that's what you need. Uh, obviously, they weren't all perfect, but, you know, for the most part, just trying to go out there and do what I've been coached here at Vandy and, uh, you know, I have XOs uh, to do and just, you know, put my best foot forward. And, you know, help the guys around me too. And they did a great job and uh, they caught the ball well, ran well. So it's a good crowd, to, you know, uh, to be around. And um, they did a great job coming around. Do you feel, okay. or I was going to say, do you? That. <laughs> Being at the combine, help you today. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think that, uh, you know, it mentally prepared me for, you know, the process, um, you know, going through the drills and everything, you know, interviews, physicals, all that stuff. and. You know, it was really a you know, great experience and you know a few things that gave me a second opportunity to tighten up some things that I might have not done well at the combine but you know it, uh, it was a great experience to help me out and uh, so yeah. Do you know a lot of these faces out here from just obviously from your, your dad and his career do you look around and see a lot of scouts? And, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely know a few guys it's, it's pretty cool you know to see all them you know, you know I felt like I was in high school you know with seeing them in my dad's office you know it's, it's funny how this whole thing circles back so it, uh, it was cool. Did that, did that bring you a little bit of does it relax you a little bit when you, when you see them? Yeah I mean you know I think that you know we've we've prepared hard here and you know I've done everything possible to put myself in a position to you know compete and put my best foot forward so it really wasn't any you know uncomfortableness it was just about going out having some fun and uh, competing hard. What do you think you kind of proved over the last month? Yeah, I mean, I wanted to show that I was an accurate passer. I think accuracy is huge, and um, you know, I wanted to show that I was an accurate passer. Um, and then, obviously, one of my weaknesses is running, running around. And I feel as if I wanted to show that you know I'm not as efficient as, as that area as it may seem. So definitely, you know, getting some good times down running and showing that I'm an accurate passer. How much in the meetings of is you up on the whiteboard showing offense, drawing things up? How does that feel? Yeah, um, did a bunch of that at the combine. You know, I, I did informal meetings a bunch, and uh, you know, definitely playing quarterback, you got to be intelligent. And I tried to you know, tell them all I know about ball, and you know, I learned a lot of stuff as well. And uh, you know, it's uh, it's been fun just talking ball, throwing the ball around, and running around. It's been great. We see when Griffin used to do that. Is it, is that how it is? Is it they're just throwing a, a situation at you? And you've got to draw it up. What what do they do? Yeah. No. Uh, I mean, they tell you different situations. You really base it off of your college experience and your terminology, and then they mix in some of their terminology that they have. And uh, it's really just trying to test your overall football intelligence. And um, you know, I thought that you know, you know it went well, and uh, it, was, it was fun talking ball. What are your plans on the draft weekend? Are you going to be here since it's here? Are you going to be back home? No, I'll be with my mom. We're probably going to go golf and get our mind off of everything. So. Uh, you know, it's been a fun process so far. I got a few more months to prepare, and um, yeah, but when draft day hits, you know, I'll be with my mom, my own golf course. What uh, what kind of a gauge do you have as far as you know, when you here around here? Something. You know, growing up, I always looked at the uh, mock drafts and projections and stuff. But this year, uh, I deleted some social media. You can get off the internet, start reading books more. You know, trying to just get away from all that stuff. I feel like it'll drive me crazy. There's so many scenarios I can go go on and. But I just try to control what I can control is to show uh, that you know I was the best that I could be. And uh, you know, I uh, it's a positive experience so far. Two more questions, please. When you, when you say on the golf course, I mean you're not gonna skip the draft. Like you're gonna go back to No, 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 no. I mean you know, the drafts at night or whatever. My mom and I are gonna go golfing, you know, get our mind, have a little easier time or whatever. And, you know, just something to just not be staring at the TV and just you know it, Great to be around my mom, love her, so that's, you know, that's pretty much it. Kyle, the running component, I, I know that's not what your game is built around. What do you have to show scouts? Do you have to show just a minimum escapability? What are the things that they look for yeah, there? Yeah, um, I had a lot of great conversations at the Combine about it, um, and a lot of the situations it was just me hanging on to the ball too long and not having the ability to get out of it. I think it's 
more, it's a mental thing, going out and taking off and running. And obviously, you know, good form, technique, you know, being in the weight room and everything. And I feel as if both physically and that mental, you know, I, my aspect, I think I've improved on. And um, so, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.